Every four minutes, someone dies from drug and alcohol addiction. That's the equivalent of a jet plane crashing every single day. How fast we would improve plane design and safety features and pilot training and maintenance if we did have that jet crashing every day, mostly full of our children. Addiction is now the number one cause of death in people under 30 years old. My story began in 1999 when my son was a 15-year-old boy. He was handsome, smart, happy, and healthy, but by the time he was 18 years old, he was shooting up heroin. It all started with prescription pain pills, and when he could no longer afford those, it led to heroin. Over the next seven years, I nearly lost my son more times than I can bear to remember. We had multiple car accidents, overdoses, one heart infection so life-threatening that it landed him in a hospital and nursing home for months at a time. It was an unbearable hell. He was in and out of treatment, usually lasting just 28 days. The shame and stigma we experienced only made matters worse, and I knew in my heart it didn't need to be this way. My son got clean and sober for good in 2009, and he is now a happy, productive member of society. He employs more than 50 people and spends every day helping others to recover. My miracle was provided by the counselor's support and guidance he received over the years. While I'm blessed that I still have my son, I've seen far too many moms and dads bury their children, and this has to stop now. During the same time that my son was suffering from the disease of addiction, my brother was diagnosed with an acute form of leukemia. Over the period of a couple of years, he had to have two bone marrow transplants. His insurance company didn't tell him if the first transplant fails, that's it. They didn't tell him you have 28 days to get better. They were there for him every step of the way. And 15 years later, he is a happy, healthy man. I just want the same thing for people suffering the disease of addiction. They need to have an appropriate level of care. They need to have an appropriate length of care and good follow-up.